Hello there, this is Tana Schaller and in this video I would like to share with you why I prefer embodied inquiry to shelf diagnosis of the body-mind connection. So you may or may not be familiar with the books that describe um, every symptom and, and correlates the symptom with any possible psychological uh, attitude or self-limiting belief and offering some affirmations to fix it. I do not subscribe to this because each person is unique and the body remembers whatever events happened in the past that haven't been resolved. And you can't find this in a book. You can only uncover it with inquiry. You know, I've been working with uh, people with body-mind uh, methods for over 20 years now. And every time, every discovery is surprising to my clients and to me. So the entry point is uh, some kind of pain, discomfort, uh, rigidity, tension, stiffness, um, there's, there's a chronic pattern in the body that hasn't responded to any intervention and the, the way that works is not going to the book and opening and see what's that around the knee or the shoulder. It is to relax and to uh, inquire into the body how long pain or discomfort been there, when did it first occur, when was either a significant time in life when the exact the same sensations occurred or when was the first time, what was the source. And uh, what I notice, uh, some of my clients are absolutely surprised when they connect with the pain, they feel it, there's emotion underlying the pain that they become aware of it. And then there's a memory, there's a mental image underlying the emotion, underlying the pain with an event from long ago, very often from childhood that is surprising to them because they don't think much of it, think, well, I didn't think that that impressed me all that much. But the body doesn't lie. The body remembers and the body remembers exactly how a person felt about the event and whether that was sorted out and processed or is still as an unfinished business. And this is an opportunity to finish the unfinished business, to uh, utter the words that needed to be spoken that haven't been spoken, to grant or ask for forgiveness, to uh, complete a movement that the body wanted to uh, complete and hasn't been yet allowed, um, or sometimes a primal sound, a voice. And only when that movement is completed, when the words that needed to be said are being uttered, that's when healing can occur and I have seen over and over again chronic symptoms changing and uh, as a result of this work and um, I will give you examples in later videos. So I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.